And that's what revived the bodybuilding industry. Okay. Bodybuilding was dying five, six, seven, eight years mm -hmm. ago because you know it was it wasn't accepted socially because mm -hmm. the guys were so massive. But when the new vision of men's physique and women's bikini came out. All right, let's open this one up for topic, you guys. You know, I just got a message from a bodybuilder, professional bodybuilder, that wasn't very happy about my last post talking about how the new divisions, men's physique, women's bikini, class physique have rejuvenated the sport. I'm talking about how, you know, five, six, seven, eight years ago when I was competing as a bodybuilder, the shows weren't nearly as big. The sport wasn't growing as fast as it is now. And if bodybuilding was, you know, able to stand on its own, why would they create the new divisions? Why would they create classic physique? Because bodybuilding, you couldn't stand on its own at the time. You know, the, the sport is growing very, very fast now. So how did men's physique not rejuvenate the sport? That's what I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to come to the conclusion of. And bodybuilders right now, apparently a couple of Mr. Olympias, according to another pro bodybuilder, are really upset about me making that statement. But the fact of the matter is, the sport's gotten more mainstream and it's growing faster than it has grown before. And these are facts. This is open, open for debate. Let's hear it. Yeah, yeah. It don't make no sense that I'm doing it with you. It don't make no sense that I'm doing it.